The question is often raised whether a machine that can understand speech and predict the best patterns of response in a debate has somehow instantiated a mind. My answer is no, not because the achievement is trivial, but because it demonstrates the opposite of what the question assumes. What the machine does shows not that consciousness has been replicated, but that much of what we take for understanding operates below the level of mystery. It reveals that there is nothing supernatural about the ability to follow a conversation, recognize a word, or infer probable meaning. Another person could do the same, not through metaphysical insight, but through the minimal effort of adjusting to recognizable patterns, computing the signals that are already there. The machine doesn't unveil the secret of mind. It only exposes how much of what we call mind is a statistical adaptation to entropy. But then again, is that really all we mean by mind? Isn't there something in the excess, in the misunderstanding, in the surplus of meaning that refuses to compress itself into pattern recognition? Perhaps what we call thought is not a mastery of entropy, but a heat that still lingers in it. The restlessness that keeps patterns from settling. Because if every disagreement, every ambiguity, every contradiction could one day cool down into perfect statistical balance, what would remain of meaning? Imagine a world where even political polarization fades, but not through reason, but through the slow cooling of information itself. Would that be peace or the end of thinking? That's the questions that I approach in my new course, The Cooling of the Mind. It's a one-hour philosophical session of video essays and on-camera reflections about what happens when intelligence stops burning and begins to settle. <laughs>